Numbers chapter 6 verse 23 all the way to verse 26 speak unto Aaron and unto his sons saying on this wise he shall bless the children of Israel saying unto them the Lord bless thee and keep thee the Lord make his face to shine upon you the Lord be gracious unto thee the Lord lift up his countenance upon you the Lord give you peace he said and they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them say a louder amen I'm speaking quickly on the subject the blessing and backing of God the blessing and backing of God we see in scripture that God blesses and God backs the blessed and the blessing. In the world, a person may be afraid that he will attract enemies and possibly danger if he is successful. But in the covenant, that fear is needless. Because God backs the blessed. Five things we are going to see from the passage we read. We read. When the Lord blesses, these following things happen. One, when the Lord blesses, he keeps the blessed. When the Lord blesses, he keeps the blessed. He said, the Lord bless you and keep you. He doesn't bless you so they can kill you. He doesn't bless you so they can waste you. He doesn't bless you so they can finish you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The blessing of the Lord is connected to the keeping of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord and the keeping of the Lord go hand in hand. He is blessing and he is keeping so both the blessing and the blessed are in safe custody of the blesser both the blessing and the blessed are in the safe custody of the blessed second when the lord blesses he makes his face to shine on the blessed. When the Lord blesses, he makes his face to shine on the blessed. What is the meaning? When the Lord blesses, he makes his presence and person available for the blessed. He makes his presence and his person available for the blessed that is the meaning of when the lord blesses he causes his face to shine on the blessed he makes his presence and his person available for or available to the blessed 
That is why the psalmist says, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. He made his presence, he made his presence and his person available. So that before the enemy can dare you, they have to sight him. I have said before that even if a man is mad, he cannot attack a child on the laps of his father. This is exciting. Thirdly, when the Lord is when the Lord blesses, he is gracious or merciful towards the blessed when the lord blesses he releases graciousness or mercifulness towards the blessed he's gracious the lord bless you the lord keep you the lord make his face to shine upon you the lord be gracious unto you he's gracious gracious means merciful favorably disposed towards you and you know that the mercy of god is the cure for the anger of your enemy his mercy is the therapy for enemy anger for his mercies endure forever because his mercy endure forever the anger of the enemy is not permitted to last. That was Psalm 136 from verse 1 to the end. We saw how the mercy of God kept on dealing with the enemies of Israel. Somebody will experience that mercy here tonight. If you are that one, you will say a loud amen. You will say a louder believers, amen. I announce to someone tonight in this preservation service the blessing of the Lord shall be your keeper on the left and on the right in the name of Jesus the presence of the Lord shall threaten the agenda of the enemy around you and the mercy of God shall prevent the anger of your enemies the anger of the wicked towards you you believers shall the loudest amen Look at your neighbor say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. God is speaking to you, say amen. amen. Number four, the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord give you peace. When the Lord blesses, he guarantees peace for the blessed. Peace, peace, peace. For the blessed. He guarantees peace. Not crisis. Peace. Which is the antidote for crisis. Peace. Not stress. Peace. Not war. In areas of the world. Where there has been war. The United Nations at times will send peacekeeping force to ensure that war is pushed back to hell. When the Lord blesses, he gives you peace. He says, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich and added no sorrow. He added no struggle, no trouble, no tension. The blessing of the Lord is peaceful. Am I communicating at all? The blessing of the unbeliever may give him hypertension. No, but the blessing of the Lord give you normal tension, normal blood pressure, not hypertension. Am I speaking to somebody at all? The blessing of the unbeliever may give him ulcer. The blessing of the unbeliever may cause him premature death, may cause witchcraft attack to swallow him up. But when the Lord blesses, he gives you peace, serenity, tranquility, equanimity. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? That is what happens when the Lord blesses. 
He said, I, 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 did, I am not going to lift you up for trouble. I am not going to lift you up for court cases and litigations and all manner of trouble and crisis and stress. I am not going to lift you up to become easily chewable by witches or wizards. I am lifting you up for peace. Is God speaking to somebody here at all? You are not going to spend all your money on police case, spend all your money on court case, spend all your money on settlements. You are not going to do that. You are not going to be on the run because God bless you. Because you got promotion in the office, you can't go home to sleep anymore. You can't travel to the village. You can't do anything because you got some promotion. No, that is not of God. The Lord give you peace. He blesses you and give you peace. I announce to somebody here tonight, peace is coming your way. Everyone that is a victim of warfare, a victim of battle, a victim of crisis, a victim of, 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 of contention and conflict. Tonight the conflict is over forever. The contention is over forever. Shout the loudest, Amen. Ooh. 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 That is why it is better for God to bless you than for you to succeed by yourself. Uh, there are some people say, I, nobody made me, I made myself. No, 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 no. You can't make yourself like that. You make yourself, you can ruin your life. That's why it's better for God to make you than for a man to say, I made you. Abraham said, I lifted up my hand. To receive nothing from me, from the king of Sodom in case I, he said I made Abraham rich. It's better for God to make you because when he blesses you, it comes with peace, serenity, tranquility, prosperity, equanimity, all the nimities. <laughs> Give the Lord a praise as you take your seat. I welcome you to our amount of unusual supernatural supplies unusual blessing from above unusual divine provision is somebody ready for divine provision like never before supernatural supplies like never before supernatural supplies like never before the blessing of heaven like never before in this month we are going to see unusual releases unusual recoveries unusual multiplications unusual replications you believe shout the loudest amen what the enemy took from you shall be returned back this month what belongs to you that the enemy is trying to divert shall enter your hands this month that is why it is important for us to know that the blessing is coming but the keeping is coming with the blessing <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So, 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 so you don't need to lose your sleep. You don't need to lose your sleep. The blessing is coming. If God will decide to give you millions and trillions in foreign currency, whatever he wants to give you, no devil can kill you before your time because God bless you. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. And then the, the last verse of that scripture, I believe that would be verse 27. He said, and they shall put my name upon the children of Israel. I like this one. And I will bless them all because I have blessed them. What's the meaning? Number five. When the Lord blesses, he puts his label, identity, signature, on the blessed when the lord blesses he places his identity his label his identity his signature on the blessed that is every devil in hell watch this one my signature is on him if you want to die touch him They shall put my name. They shall brand. Somebody say, I have been branded. Hey, 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 hey. 
They shall brand them for me. They shall brand them. They shall brand the children of Israel for me. They shall write my signature. The priest is like my pen that I used to sign my signature on the body of these people so that everywhere they pass, it should be clear to every devil who cares that this one is owned by God. Is that what Paul the Apostle meant? In Galatians 6, 17, let nobody trouble me. For I have on my body the branding. I have been branded. I have been branded. I have been branded. Satan, stay clear. I have been branded. Affliction, stay clear. I have been branded. Witches and wizards, stay clear. I have been branded. I have been branded. There is something on my body. I have been branded. I don't belong to myself. I said, there's a lifting up when men are cast down. I shall arise and shine in the midst of darkness. Why? Because I belong to you, Lord. Because I am. Oh, my God. Oh, my I said there's a lifting up. I said there's when men are cast down. I shall arise. I shall and shine in because because because, because I belong to you, Lord. To you. I announce to somebody tonight every devil who cares to see will see the brand on your body will see the the label on your life the signature of your creator on your life they will see it on your children on your family on your children's children in the name of Jesus I announce, I prophesy, I declare, that's right. The keeping of the Lord is your portion tonight. The presence of the Lord is your portion tonight. The mercy of the Lord is your portion tonight. The peace of God, the tranquility, the serenity of God is your portion tonight. And I announce the branding, the branding, the signature of Jehovah shall be seen on your body. Shout the loudest. Amen. Hallelujah. Take your seat. I have been to places where we are coming like this. Then an agent of the devil just shifts from the road takes another direction why they saw something they saw something saw something from this moment they shall see something <laughs> I went to preach somewhere in the south south of this country as the pastor normally walks towards the crowd then somebody right there as soon as I came shifted her face like this so I went in the direction of the face. He shifted it to the other side. I went to the other direction. He shifted it to the other side. So I said, okay, I will stand in front of you. Let me see where you will shift it to. I dealt with that devil. <laughs> there was something that the demon inside was not ready to gaze upon. Was not powerful enough to look upon there is the branding there is the light and there is the fire of the holy ghost i announce i prophesy to somebody today tonight from this service of preservation they shall identify the brand on your life 
Take your seat. This is what this preservation service is all about tonight. And we have examples in scripture of people who were blessed and who had the backing. So the summary tonight is the blessing of God comes with the backing of God. Take the first example, Jacob. Jacob was the individual that was turned into an institution by the blessing of God. You remember the story? Genesis chapter 32, verse 24, all the way to verse 28. I won't let you go until you bless me. What's your name? Jacob. Okay, from now, by this blessing you have become Israel. And this same Jacob, by this blessing, got a very strange backing. In Genesis chapter 35, in verse 5, the Bible said, Jacob and his family journeyed, and the terror of the Lord was upon the cities, not just upon Jacob, the cities that were round about them. If Jacob was in Abuja city, then the terror was on Kefi and was on Mina and was on Kaduna and was on the cities that were round about so they couldn't pursue the sons of Jacob. God is saying, I have my investment in this man. Stay clear. From this night, they shall stay clear of your life, of your family, in the name of Jesus. It was to such a point that God had to warn Laban in the night. In Genesis chapter 31 and in verse 24, he said, be careful about Jacob. And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night and said unto him, take heed that you speak not to Jacob, whether good or bad. Don't tell him anything. Because I'm going to deal with you. <laughs> hey! Let me announce to you, because of you, God shall visit some people in their dreams. Those that need to leave you alone. Those that need to be dealt with by God. Those that need to be handled by God. They shall be visited in their dreams of the night because of you. Shout, yes! That is the extent to which God backs the blessed on our account, myself, this church. I don't know the number of people who have gone to their eternity on time, who dared us privately or secretly. In heaven we shall know, but I am fully aware of that. Because I know that one night I woke up in the morning and, I, and so many devils and their agents had been wasted. And I woke up in the morning because they came against what we carry in the dream in the night. I woke up in the morning almost feeling bad that they were overwasted. <laughs> hey! Hey! I announce to you today, those who won't let you and your, and your family and your destiny rest, they will be overwasted overnight. Overwasted overnight. Shout the loudest, Amen. That was the backing of the blessing of Jacob. What of Job? Job was the blessing made man that became the greatest man in his time, in his generation. Job chapter 1, and if you read verse 1, he told you of the story of a man called Job. In the land of us, whose name was Job, he was perfect, upright, and he feared God and eschewed evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. And then his substance was also 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, and 500 yoke of oxen. 500 she asses and very great household so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east and in verse 10 the bible said satan speaking to god have you not made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side you have blessed him 
the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land because there is a barrier a wall around his life it is a wall of fire that was what the bible said in Zech zechariah chapter 20 verse 5 i said the lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about very soon those who rush at you will jam fire that amen can be better when they rush they come to jam fire they come to jam fire in the night they shall jam fire in the day they shall jam fire you believe it shout the loudest amen watch this very very soon some people will wake up with fire physical on their body agents of the enemy there was no physical fire but they will wake up with fire bonds and they will know where it happened from and they will confess and testify to what they did say that amen like a believer so of all the things we have said tonight this is the summary first the blessing of God comes with the backing of God two the blessing of God comes with the keeping of God the blessing of God comes with the backing of God the blessing of God comes with the keeping of God they all sound alike but they are slightly different comes with the backing of God comes with the keeping of God third Divine provision comes with divine protection. If he is the divine provider, he is also the divine protector. Divine provision comes with divine protection. And then supernatural supply comes with supernatural security. <laughs> There are physical securities, but supernatural supplies come with supernatural security. Psalm 112, from verse 1 all to the end, he said, Praise ye the Lord, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. He said, His seed shall be mighty upon the earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. He said, wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure it forever. Unto the upright, the arising light in the darkness is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. He said, a good man showed favor and lender, he will guide his affairs with discretion. He then said, surely he cannot be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. Doesn't matter the rumor going out. His heart is fixed. Trust him in the Lord. His heart is established, he shall not be afraid until he sees his own desires upon his enemies. These enemies cannot see their desire upon him. He is the one to see his desires upon their enemies. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? He has despised, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it. How this man is lifted and protected despite everything they have planned to pull him down and destroy him nothing is working then they are done snatching with his teeth in anger they hate you but they can't hurt you and they don't know why they can't hurt you are you hearing what i'm saying here they hate you they can't hurt you they hate you they can't harm you Because your Redeemer is alive. He gnashes with his teeth until both the wicked and his desire perishes. And his journal, he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. And the desire of the wicked plus the wicked shall all perish. Listen to me. Anyone who, will, who wants to see your end, our end, we shall see their end they cannot see our end they will not see your end if you are saying amen say louder amen this is preservation service 
communion of escape. I prophesy preservation for your life, preservation for your family, preservation for your job, preservation for your career, preservation for your destiny. Shout the loudest, Amen. Before this week is out, you shall hear the news. Wanted to use a venue for a program somewhere in this country. I won't mention the name. One man says over his dead body that the place cannot be used. So I told the, the pastor who came to tell me was shaking. So I said, the man hasn't said anything bad. He only said that we can use the place, but he has to die first. <laughs> he only said he can use the place we can use the place after he has that i am telling you it was not one week the schedule for the program was to be sunday and he said this like on wednesday and he passed on like on thursday and it held i still remember the, the pastor was shaking he said the venue is not available the man said over his deputy said calm down he didn't say anything bad he said he wants to die. <laughs> when, when somebody says he wants to die, do you, do you, do you, do you pity him? He wants to say life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you have the choice over the matter. He says he, he says we can use it, but he will die first. People don't know that it is not everybody you say such things to. You can say such in the village and go free. But when, not when there is raw liquid oil. <laughs> it's God speaking. Nobody has ever been able to say that to us. If they say it now, it will happen now. If anybody dares it now and say over there, it will happen now. I announce to you today in the name of Jesus everyone who says you should not rest they shall rest for you they shall be laid to rest for your sake you a believer shall the loudest amen take your seat and let's round off now that blessing that brings the backing of God what is the secret of it? That blessing that brings the backing of God. What is the secret of it? Number one is a life lived for God. A life lived for God is the secret of that blessing that brings the backing of God. A life lived for God. One, a life lived for God. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. A life lived for God. A life lived for the interest of God. A life lived for the purpose of God. A life lived for the progress of the kingdom of God on the earth. Again, it's a life lived for God, not for self. A life lived for the interest of God. A life lived for the purpose of God. A life lived for the progress of the kingdom on the earth. Before Paul the Apostle could say, let no man trouble me, I bear the brand marks of Jesus on my body, which he said in Galatians 6, 17. He had already spoken something in Galatians 2, 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. The life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I am not living for myself. I am already a dead man walking. I am not living for my own interest. I am not trying to see what I can achieve for myself. I am trying to see what I can achieve for the kingdom. A life 
united with the agenda of God on earth. Did you hear what I just said? A life that is united with the agenda of God on the earth. Whatever God is doing on earth, you are united with it. You are, you are attached to it. You are connected to it. A life that publicly identifies with the kingdom and publicly represents the kingdom. That is publicly identifies, publicly represents. I don't belong to myself. I belong to God. You know God knows. The devil knows. Your friends know. Your enemies know. That this one is a kingdom personality. A mobile entity for heaven. And a man from heaven with an ambassadorial mandate. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? And when you are an ambassador, you don't beg for immunity. You have diplomatic immunity effortlessly. Any police that arrests an ambassador is a police who dreamt that he has been sacked. Huh? He saw an American flag on an ambassador's vehicle. Say, stop! Open your boot. Even if you are AIG, your job ended. Because it's a diplomatic role. That is, it's not police against ambassador, it's Nigeria against America. I mean, the man dreamed that he lost his job. So he wanted to actualize his dream. He's trying to see how the dream can come to pass. By trying to, even if it is the ambassador of the tiniest African country. That is who you are. He said, we are ambassadors for Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 5, you read down from verse 20, from verse 17. Ah, and then you carry an ambassadorial mandate with an ambassadorial with a diplomatic immunity. Heaven knows, hell knows. Witches know, wizards know. Demons know. Even lizards should know, not just only wizards. <laughs> Am I communicating? Please, in the midst of this exciting world, don't waste your life living for yourself. It's a waste of life to live for yourself. To just be pursuing tiny personal agenda. It's a waste of life. Let it be clear to God, clear to heaven, that this one is representing us there on earth. Did you hear what? The rich man said in hell can you send somebody from this place to my father's house and tell them that hell is real i am tormented in this flame he said i can't send another person from here we have people there we are depending on abraham is there moses is there let them hear them if they won't hear him them even if we send somebody from here they won't hear can god refer to you on earth that he is relying on you right now in heaven can they make reference that there is somebody called paul and Nietzsche? since he is there our interest will not suffer am i communicating god boasted concerning job to to satan see my servant job how many of us here can god boast about can he boast about you to the witches in your family? Or boast about you to our community, our nation? I have a, a daughter in the choir. I have a son in the counseling. I have someone in the sanctuary. I have somebody is in the so-and-so public complaints commission or so-and-so place. He is representing me there. She is my representative there. Because he is there, she is there. I am comfortable that things must happen well. Those are the kind of people that heaven deploys back and forth. Say, this man is not living for himself. He's not speaking for himself. He's not dressing for himself. He is representing us. Let us deploy maximum security for him. Is God speaking to anybody here? You are there in that place where you live. To swallow darkness but there are lights that have been swallowed by darkness 
there are people in offices and in places of establishment institutions that they have been swallowed up darkness swallowed their light they are apologizing now for doing the right thing instead of wicked people apologizing for doing the wrong thing did you hear what i just said good people apologizing for doing the right thing instead of evil people apologizing for doing the wrong thing because the light was so dim darkness swallowed it God is looking for people. He wants to deck you and back you. He wants to deck you and back you. But he wants you to be a confirmed agent of heaven. Representative of heaven. They said to me some time ago that some people, a, a church was using a venue and that venue um, was about to be sold. And the church couldn't pay for that for, for the venue, not not Dunamis Church, not our church at all. And then people from another religion also wants to buy up the place and turn it to their place of worship from church. I heard it, I said, Not when we are alive, not when our type is alive, and not when we have heard it. Tell us the price. It was in six zeros, it was paid for that church. To the shame of the devil build it up and stay there and worship jehovah do you understand what i'm saying the camp chairman of that state called me on phone and he said the pastor said told us what you did for their church the lord bless you thank you i said no it was a kingdom war it's not about that. It's not about that local church. Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? It's a kingdom matter. No, it's not. A, it's that church. It's just a, it's just a tiny location. It's about kingdom versus kingdom. When last did heaven look down and saw you fought for the cause of heaven? And he said, that girl defended me. I've, I, 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 when we, before we came to this level, in those days we, when we used to follow um, public buses, I remember, I, I, I remember plenty times when people are talking rubbish against God, against church and so on. And with anger, I would stand up. Shut up! You don't know nothing you are talking about. And then put the record straight, 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 straight. You can talk like this if I was not in this bus. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Today, I see a new recruitment of passionate people. I see a new deployment of fireful people, zealous people that will defend heaven in this generation. If you are among them, you will shout the loudest, Amen. Take your seat. The kind of people that see the blessing that has the backing of God, where is a life lived for God. And number two, a life lived as a blessing once you are a blessing both to eternity and humanity then you provoke heaven's backing I will bless you and you shall be a blessing Abraham Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 and I will bless thee and make thy name great and you shall be a blessing now see what follows semicolon provided you agree to be a blessing I will bless them that bless you and I will curse them that curse you I will bless them that bless you anybody supporting you I am their support Anybody frustrating you, I am their tribulation. I will tribulate those who trouble you. 
I will facilitate those who enhance you. Anything they give you, I multiply it for them. Ay, 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 ay. You want the blessing? Bless the blessed. You want the curse? Curses? Curse the blessed. You want assistance? Assist the one God is assisting. You want resistance? Resist the one God is assisting. <laughs> That's right. Not just wahala, plural wahala, wahalus. <laughs> is it not in English like that? <laughs> it should be in English like that. Hallelujah. God says, be busy. Everywhere you see kingdom effort, support. Don't even wait until a project is announced. Announce it by yourself. Do things. Build churches. Build buildings. I was signing today. I signed big check today for rural church building in the village today. Just do things like that. Help afflicted, needy people as you can. And you know what God will do? He said, I will keep you long so you can be doing such things. I will deliver you from distraction so you can maintain focus. What causes others to stumble can't stumble you. A life lived for God. A life lived as a blessing. Oh, I was studying the life secrets of people who lived over 120 years and above. One of the key secrets I saw yesterday night was that these people are interested and involved in the lives of others. They want to do things that enhance people. They just want to do things that touch people. In fact, some of them are here in their old age, 90 something, they go out to volunteer to distribute food. They just do things that enhance others. One of their secrets amongst others. Not, not necessarily even that some were Christians, but they just did these things. And they just extended their lives. Hallelujah. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. In this month of March, you will march into your destiny. That amen can be better. Will you stand on your feet with a louder believers? Amen. Will you give Jesus a louder shout of amen? Lift your hands and give him the praise. I believe you received something tonight. And if you received something tonight, lift your hands and give him the praise.